This village northwest of Prague is quiet and inconspicuous, but every Czech knows the important role it played in the country's history. This is Lidice, a village that was destroyed by the Nazi regime in 1942. The atrocity was well documented, but only now, almost 70 years after the event, is the Czech film industry bringing it to the big screen. Pro mě tento film znamená osobně asi nej, největší dosavadní projekt v mém životě. Já si myslím, že paměť národa je něco, co se musí zachovat a po dlouhé době, kdy téma lidic bylo využito a zneužito vlastně komunisty jako taková oficiální propaganda a doktrína, tak se po, po těch skoro 70 letech vracíme k tomu, aby jsme pravdivě a pětně s, s pokorou tento příběh odvyprávili. The trailer for Nikolajev's film shows the heart of this real life drama. British trained Czechoslovak resistance fighters parachuted into Prague and tried to assassinate the Nazi leader of occupied Czechoslovakia, Reinhard Heydrich. He died of his injuries several days later. And in response, the Nazi leadership ordered any town harboring the assassins or their helpers to be destroyed. When suspicions fell on Lidice, German troops killed 340 men, women and children and burned the village to the ground. Today, a new Lidice stands nearby and monuments mark the site of the tragedy. But the filmmakers and the cast, including many unpaid volunteers, want to make sure this chapter in history is not forgotten. In fact, the interest shown by Czech citizens has helped ensure that the story gets told. The Czech film industry, like many others, has suffered from the global financial crisis. Nikolaev's $3 million project was on thin ice until dozens of small-scale private investors and local funders came forward. And we ask uh, public for, for, for money. And then uh, a lot of people helped me just, just uh, uh, with thousand crowns or something like that. Was, for me, was more symbolic than anything else. And I think also the people who came today believe the idea. One earlier attempt to draw attention to Lidice's history went awry. The curators of the Lidice Memorial commissioned a mock online video game called Total Burnout of Lidice, intended to teach young people about the tragedy. But it was quickly withdrawn due to public opposition. Ten film já považuji za, za vhodný prostředek, daleko lepší prostředek, než před lety vypukla tady internetová hra Total Bond Out of Lidice, že jo? což byl pro nás velký šok a to je, pro nás je to nepřípustný. Kamera! When the film is released in 2011, the producers hope it will help immortalize the story of Lidice, not only for the Czech public, but also for the rest of the world.